Good morning. Today we are going to demonstrate and understand the classic bullet projectile motion experiment. Hey guys. Hey Ball. Uh, hi Ball. Flippin' physics. Bobby, could you please read the problem? One bullet is fired horizontally and simultaneously a second bullet is dropped from the same height. Neglecting air resistance and assuming the ground is level, which bullet hits the ground first? As you can see from the video, rather than using bullets, we are going to use a lacrosse ball, which will yield the same results and will cost a lot less money. So we have one lacrosse ball that is dropped and simultaneously a lacrosse ball that is launched horizontally, both from the same height, which we are going to identify as H. The basic idea here is that we need to solve for the changes in time for both bullets. And in order to do that, we need to list the variables that we know in the y direction for both cases. Bo, could you please begin doing that? The displacement in the y direction for both is h. <coughs> negative. Negative. Yeah, <coughs> negative h because they're both going down. And to notice that this is the same for both the one that was dropped and the one that was launched horizontally. Bobby, what else do we know? The initial velocity in the y direction is zero for both. Yes, regardless of the fact that the one that was launched horizontally has a velocity in the x direction, it's still, just like the one that was dropped, has an initial velocity in the y direction that is equal to zero. Billy, what else do we know? Um, both are in free fall in the y direction, so their acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. Actually, I'm going to leave it as negative little g, or the acceleration due to gravity, because I want to point out that this is true on any planet, not just planet Earth. Now, notice that three of our uniformly accelerated motion variables are the same. Therefore, class, if three of the UAM variables are the same, what do you think is true of the other two? They, they are the same. same. Yeah, the same. Correct. If three of the UAM variables are the same, then so are the other two UAM variables. More specifically, in this equation, you can see that the velocity final in the y direction will be the same. And in this UAM equation, you can see that the change in time will be the same. Therefore, both will land at the exact same time. Let's go see the proof of this in the video. You can see that they both hit the ground at the same time. And in fact, if we slow it down enough and go frame by frame, you can see that they actually are at the same height at the same time as well. Again, because in the y direction, all the uniformly accelerated motion variables are the same. Wait a second. Right before they hit the ground, isn't the one that was launched horizontally moving faster than the one that was dropped? Actually, Billy, yes, that is correct. Uh, but didn't you just say that they have the same final velocity in the y direction? Yeah, they do, Billy. It's just that the one that was launched horizontally also has a velocity in the x direction. So the final speed or the magnitude of the final velocity will be the hypotenuse of the triangle. And the hypotenuse of a triangle is always longer than either of the two sides. Oh yeah, I, I get it now. Thanks. Yes, they have the same final velocity in the y direction. However, because the one that was launched also has a final velocity in the x direction, it will then have a magnitude final velocity, which will be greater than the final velocity in the y direction, the magnitude of which is the final velocity for the one that is dropped. Uh, quick review, because three of the UAM variables are the same, the change in time is going to be the same, therefore both will land at the same time, and the final velocity in the y direction will be the same. However, the one that was launched horizontally will have a larger final speed than the one that was dropped. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.